Georgian power system can be divided into two parts from, from the point of power flow, from western part to eastern part. Our generation assets are located in the west part of Georgia and consumption is mainly located in the east part and it was only one line crossing Georgia from west to east. The system was designed to be a part of bigger system, bigger Soviet Union system. And after the breakdown of Soviet Union, Georgia as an independent state has a very weak transmission system. The line is crossing mountainous region and it's a difficult environment. The outage of 500 kV line was ending usually with a blackout. In 2010, there was six or seven big uh, blackouts in, in Georgia in, within one year. We needed some alternative solution. Late in 2010, the President of Georgia and the Minister of Energy requested that changes be made to prevent outages before the summer of 2011. They soon learned that we do complete systems and they started talking to us about designing a system to be put in service by the summer of 2011. Our first goal was to prevent interconnection line trips. We began implementing of RAS system. The challenge, of course, was it was already late in the year of 2010, and they knew that the difficult time for load on the system was July, so that left eight months to get something in service. The RAS project team can be understood as a combination of SCL engineers and GC engineers. SCL engineers understand very well our problem and understands our network. So a collaborative team of GSE and SEL engineers agreed on a project in the last day of February and it was specified, designed, built, tested and installed four months later. The basis of our RAS system is the SCL451 relays which are used as PMUs and controllers. We used Ethernet switches since the network was not so wide. We performed a live test in 2011 by tripping of the connection line between western and eastern regions. The system survived. We did not run into blackout because of the mitigation actions performed by RAS system. What was amazing was a handful of relays and controllers and some hard work by some smart engineers made a system that was so fast that it could protect this power system and prevent blackouts. But we also designed it in a way that we could add more functionality, more visibility and more management of the power system in the future. On the next stage of RAS projects, we began implementing more 500 kV lines and this process needed to have more robust and more reliable telecommunication system. We decided to extend our new telecommunication network on icon multiplexers, not only for RAS system needs, also for protection. The initial design used the fiber backbone and Ethernet in all the substations, but we knew we'd be able to come in later and add the ICON. The ICON is the only multiplexer that provides fast delivery of the protection signals and fast failover, less than five milliseconds in case there's a fault in the fiber communication system. And it's deterministic and it's protection grade. We knew we could add the ICON system and not jeopardize the speed of the existing remedial action scheme. Right now, this is a system covering completely 500 kV network of Georgia. To detect, transmit, and to issue the trip signal for the RAS system takes 20 milliseconds for any distance in the country. We were able to add more communications multiplexed onto those fibers to collect a lot more information to make additional decisions at the centralized system. The first system worked on a small number of inputs and outputs, and each output was actually shedding load to prevent a blackout. So with the new system, we have so much more information and so many more control points that we dramatically reduce how much load is shed. During 2014-2013, we had many outages, 
and many times the RAS system operated. We got no blackouts. Nobody knew that it would be so important for us. It would have so important task in our system. And in the end, the system is so capable and so robust that it improves the stability of both the power system and the economy of the country of Georgia. Because of the good partnership and the good experience of the previous projects, GEC and SCL is uh, continuing into other projects like protection and control projects for the substations. I think this is the good collaboration between two companies.